city. It receives uh, just thousands upon thousands of patients a day. And in their ER daily, their census is about 450 people. Uh, we've been working with some uh, really close friends now there for almost 10 years. And just prior to the pandemic, launched uh, something called the Diploma in Emergency Medicine course, which is essentially a stepping stone towards a, a formal residency training program there. Uh, right now, no formal residency uh, training program in emergency medicine exists in country. And I have two of our uh, very first graduates from Cho Rai's Emergency Medicine Diploma course here with us today, who are going to talk a little bit about toxidromes they see in their emergency department at Cho Rai Hospital. I want you to keep in mind that practice patterns differ, practice environments differ, but I think we're really lucky to have the opportunity to learn from them. Uh, they're here this week as part of our exchange program, as part of that diploma program. So if you have the opportunity to say hi while they're in the ED, please uh, be friendly and welcoming to them. And I'd like to introduce my friend, uh, Dr. Han Vo and Dr. Feng Nguyen here, who are going to chat a little bit more with us this morning. So please give them a warm welcome. Dr. Han, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Han, Han Vo. I'm a medical doctor working at the emergency department of Chorai Hospital. Nice to meet you, morning. <laughs> so now, can I share my screen? Han, do you see the green button at the bottom? Yeah. Will it allow you to share? Can you see my screen? It looks great. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so today I'm very excited to share with you about common toxic drum we met at uh, in ED at Chirai Hospital. Uh, accidental and intentional intoxication or road overdose produce toxic drum with a combination of syndrome and characteristic finding for particularly particular substance or part of substances. Sometimes there are more than one substances uh, that you, so there are a combination of finding. Um, the general goal of management include stabilizing and clinical condition, uh, the clinical condition and controlling the symptom, as well as finding the cause of substance and given specific treatment. Uh, individual who present only my toxicity can be observed in our ED until they are symptomatic and the chart. Uh, why those who with significant, significant toxicity should be admitted to the ICU or the tropical disease department? Uh, so the initial step in uh, evaluating a, a person who may have a toxic problem, they assess the ABC, admin airway, breathing, and uh, circulation, the respiratory uh, rate, 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 and oxygen saturation should be assessed. And if the oxygen saturation is lower than 92, we will give them the uh, high flow oxygen or the oxygen by cannula or by mask. Uh, in individual with severe respiratory distract, intubation and mechanical ventilation may be needed. With the patient have a hypotensive, we will give the fluid resuscitation with two liters of isotonic. And after that, if too low, we give the no epinephrine. Uh, next, uh, if the individual with neurological syndrome, like confusion or delirium, then IV thiamine uh, may be held. Uh, additionally, uh, if the immunoversion with the respiratory 
fraction than an RVX overdose the most likely code. Uh, in those case, we give uh, one bond 0.5 milligram of IV nelson or one uh, 0.1 milligram in muscular nelson and the dough may be uh, double every two minutes until the respiratory depressed. And uh, now if the individual reason with uh, within two hour from infection of uh, a substance like salicylate or acetaminophen article can be given. And uh, finally, uh, it's important to set the person with the sign, uh, people sign because some testosterone code either and rice or meiosis check the right skin line anticholinergic syndrome and the level of concernness. So the lab step, the first we will test a finger stick to go see them if they have a hypoglycemic and we will admit the electrode to convert them. And after that, uh, acetaminophen or salicylate level uh, will order if we consume it. Uh, pregnancy test can given uh, if uh, for the female between uh, 18 to 55. And another lab, uh, uh, an uh, SCBC is also done along with PGN and serum creatinine level to assess renal function and electrolyte to check for electrolyte impellent like hyperkalin with uh, dioxin intoxic. So uh, if an EBG is done and see if uh, the intoxication is associated with high gap metabolic acidosis, which you can see the uh, salicylate methanol or ethylene glycol intoxication. If the result so high up metabolic acidosis, then the level of methanol and uh, ethylene glycol are checked. If the individual have a history of unknown consumption, then uh, serum ethanol level are checked. And if the individual taking dioxin, the serum level of dioxin are checked as well. The urine, the urine drug testing is done that typical check substance like amphetamine, methamphetamine, benzodiazepine, cocaine, or ovary. Yeah. So uh, here is uh, uh, a general syndrome of uh, toxicum. Uh, we can uh, overview, but uh, a type called this term not specific to uh, make a diagnosis of a patient. It uh, just for us to overview and have a different different nature uh, that not because one patient come in, they have a toxic drum, maybe they uh, use a uh, compile of uh, substances not only alone. And here uh, the uh, another simple chart. So for you can uh, overview. And uh, in our AD, we have a this chart to uh, add the table to see if we have a toxic syndrome patient coming, we will uh, overview again and maybe make a decision to check, make sure that uh, uh, they don't have a, another condition. And so uh, the common case uh, of toxic injury, uh, we have a chemical substance like herbicide, like parawat, diwat, lufosinate, insecticide like organic phosphate or copamat. And the uh, drug overdose, uh, very likely uh, acetaminophen or basalisamol, the ethanol, methanol. Uh, Sometimes we see cocaine or amphetamine overdose. And uh, now it really uh, 
uh, we meet the drug overdose like opioid, tymorphine or heroin, but the set poisoning with herbicide and pesticide is a major public health problem in our country. Uh, so you can see uh, this is the most uh, certain, the most uh, common cause of overdose in uh, Chorai. So uh, now we go to some case we met in Chorai Hospital. Mm. A grown man he brought to the in your room after he ingressed a strange substance just one or two hours ago. He met that after drinking with friend and he come home, drain a dark blue substance, it's a strong male and best that so, uh, so that uh, he don't uh, swallow, she spat out. And now he only uh, feel the pain on the tunnel mouth and he went to the ED department at the ED. Uh, in the ED, his fetal sign are no more. He had the uh, my answer on his turn and mouth. He doesn't have any other syndrome or any medical history. It's a very light, uh, a very common case coming in uh, Charai. So and another case is uh, a 38 years old male patient was taken to ED after drinking herbicide. According to everyone account, due to his, due to a family dispute, the patient ran a portal of Parawat have sign six hour after the family was released and immediately bring her to a district hospital for an emergency treatment. Uh, she was treated with a uh, ratchet larvae uh, and anti cattle, then transferred to ED at a hospital in the immediate. In the ED room, uh, she can tell her name, A, and rebond to spit. How many mouth answer? A lot of bad breath with her mouth. Uh, he has, she has a bilateral run sound and a dirt band. Her heart rate is 120 beat per minute. Blood pressure 100, uh, 110 and 80. Respiratory 26 and the pun oximeter only 90% on room air. Uh, the patient does have any medical history, allergy or medication, and uh, her family bring the bottle that she drain like this. And you can uh, see it have a label in, uh, in the bottle and it uh, is a parawak. Uh, it's a, a, a blue dot and has chemical add to make it smell bad and make sure you throw up when uh, you're in it uh, like the manable and uh, don't smell or take it. Uh, one time I, uh, I examined a patient with the paradoxicity. Uh, I just smell it one time and uh, I felt no see right away. It's very bad. So for that, just the certificate farmer or certificate person can do this drug. This is the chemical substance. So Parawat is a very extremely poison as a little of Tiban. It's about uh, just uh, 14 milliliters of uh, 20% liquid of Parawat can cause death of uh, a dark person. It is up very weakly into your body and cause toxic chemical reaction and that damage the cell. This to direct damage to patient liver, kidney, and lung. The clinical future are likely due to entire cellular effect. So the sign, the first side Parawat are usually uh, when the patient digested, it will cause the digestive system uh, syndrome like pain of the mouth and throat, swelling mouth and throat, turn sore, bleeding in your mouth, stomach pain, stomach ramping, or even blood diarrhea. 
and the pyruvate poisoning can cause all the symptoms, including uh, fast heart rate, uh, trouble with breathing, shortness of breath, uh, muscle weakening, confusion, uh, delirium, or uh, uh, maybe coma, seizure, or a consensus, uh, con consensus. So, uh, because the pyruvate generates really reactive oxygen species with cold cellular damage via lipid peroxidation, activation of NF, KP, mitochondrial demand, and uh, apoptosis and amino organ. But what is actually taken up again, a concentration gradient into lung tissue leading to pneumonitis and lung pyrosis. But what also called renal and liver injury. Uh, plasma parawat concentration, urine, uh, and plasma DT9 test, and clinical feature provide a good uh, guide to prognosis. So uh, for the uh, treatment, uh, anti uh, charcoal and uh, fuel earth are routine given to minimize further absorption. A uh, gastric level may be useful in the first hour. Uh, elimination methods uh, hemodialysis and hemoperfusion are uh, unlikely to train the clinical core. However, actually, we uh, conduct di dialysis for patients who arrive within six hours, but fatty, but fat level is four hours with a uh, SA230 filter. At A2340 uh, is a new absorption filler column with the uh, resin absorption material, which have a good ability to absorb liquid, liquid uh, solute substance and get a uh, very effective fuel pyruvate from blood uh, 921 nanogram per milliliter to uh, uh, 37 nanogram per milliliter after just one hour of absorption. Uh, absorption. So it's very uh, useful. And another uh, supportive care, a supportive uh, uh, treatment can be uh, seen here. But there are no widely accepted guidance on treatment of patients uh, with parasite cell poisoning and the treatment vary from supportive care along or vary combination of uh, immune, immune modulation, antioxidant therapy, hemoperfusion, and uh, hemodialysis. But until now, the mortality rate from the water poisoning is still very high. And uh, now with the two patients about the, the run man, uh, we test for negative of uh, parawat in uh, blood and urine. So we just uh, give him supportive care and uh, move him, transfer him to tropical disease department to follow up uh, just uh, a few days. After that, he discharge and follow the outpatient department. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, with the lady girl who was uh, suicide with the uh, parawat, uh, with uh, despite of uh, resuscitation and dialysis, but she uh, cannot pass pass up. Uh, she uh, uh, she died, and uh, our experience almost gave up uh, parawat toxicity. It they uh, bring a little like uh, 20 milli of parawat, it ca cannot be uh, survived. So uh, thank you. Do you have uh, uh, any question? Dr. Ahn, thank you for that really interesting lecture. As you can see from the chat box on the side, we, I've never seen paraquat no. poisoning and even our clinical toxicologists that are, are here with us this morning uh, were mentioning to me that 
they only had to learn about Paraquat for their board exams. They, they, I don't think I've ever seen it, but Mike or Allie, do you want to weigh in? Uh, I've had a single exposure to Diquat that didn't end up being anything at all. Uh, and it turns out we did not have some of the things like I couldn't even do that diphionite testing to see if the child had been exposed. No one had the reagents to do it. Uh, and so I just want to clarify, are you able to get a paraquat test uh, concentration or do the diphionite test easily at your hospital? Uh, it's a little often, one or two K a week or a month. Uh, yeah, in Vietnam, uh, not the certificate farmer can do that. Uh, it can, uh, they can buy at the black market. So poor a bit. But yeah. Han, can you how, do... are, how are you making the diagnosis in the emergency department? Is it just based on your suspicion or finding the paraquat? in the company of the patient, or do you have a specific test you can run to confirm? Uh, of course, we, uh, we have to do the Parawat test in the blood and the urine. If it's negative and under six hour, we will invite a specialist to order a dialysis with at a two, three, zero fusion. On, I, have only, a, yeah. I have a question. What is Fuller's Earth? You're looking at him, Susan. I, I knew you were a humanitarian. <laughs> That's an amazing accomplishment, but I've never seen us use anything like that. I have no idea really what that is. Yeah, it's, it's a subtle jet light uh, activity charcoal. It's uh, a subtle light up. And the soy and the the earth, but it uh, so it it just like that. It absorb uh, the liquid or the substance in uh, the stomach, the patient's stomach. Do you use it in like every instance that you would use activated charcoal? Is it like a one-to-one -one substance for all the things, or just for paraquat? Uh, Almost the thing, if the patient uh, come in in uh, one or three hour, we will admit the activity charcoal. If they have a toxic by ingestion. Yeah, thank you. Fuller volt is a clay based material in the US, we would just use activated charcoal, but uh, it's kind of like what cat litter would be made out of is clay. Uh, it's a uh, you know clay material that would absorb some different things. So it's that, that's the one poisoning I know it to be associated with is using it for paraquat or diquat, but I don't think it's available unless you want to give someone a scoop of cat litter. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Han, for uh, that, that great lecture. I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone's attention. So hopefully we can do more of these in the future. Yeah, very uh, welcome. Uh, I'm very thank you for you to invite us to uh, do this small talk. Um, sorry, my, uh, my English is uh, not good. So very thank you for attention. <laughs>